So most of you already know what a meme is, but in case you're living under a rock. A meme is a humorous image, video, piece of text, etc. that is copied, often with slight variations, and spread rapidly by internet users. But while you might be familiar with the biggest ones, have you ever wondered where they came from? These are 10 origins of the most famous internet memes. Number one is the Rick Roll. Never Gonna Give You Up hit number one on the music charts one year after its release in 25 countries, including the United States. Then, 20 years later, the image board website 4chan experienced a phase where its users would entice readers with intriguing headlines to a news story or image, but when the link was clicked, a badly edited image of a duck on wheels would appear. Now this was called duck rolling, you see where it's going? In May of 2007, that underwent a transformation when a user on the video game board known as Slash v Slash linked to a Rick Astley music video under the guise of a new trailer for the game Grand Theft Auto 4. After just a few weeks, the bait and switch prank took off with 13 million people reportedly being Rickrolled. And what's really interesting is that Astley himself embraced the meme as it gave his career a second wind and even earned him a 2008 MTV Video Music Award for best act ever. Number two is do a barrel roll. The phrase do a barrel roll comes from the popular Nintendo 64 game Star Fox 64, which is one of my personal favorites, released on June 30th, 1997, in which your character pilots a futuristic R-wing aircraft. In the opening level of the game, a squad mate named Peppy appears over your radio and advises you to do a barrel roll to spin your aircraft to avoid an incoming attack. Peppy's radio message was given an Urban Dictionary entry on January 30th, 2004, and was used repeatedly by callers on Tom Green's live internet TV show in the summer of 2006 during his call-in segment. Users on 4chan, once again, where the phrase was commonly quoted, planned to raid the show by phoning in and using internet memes, including telling Tom to do a barrel roll. Google actually ended up immortalizing the meme with a hidden Easter egg on November 3rd, 2011. If you want to see what happens for yourself, type in do a barrel roll in Google search and watch your entire browser flip upside down. Number three is you mad? The question you mad aka you mad bro has been used countless times on images that are intended to troll others or to imply that there might be some hard feelings surfacing in a discussion. The phrase hit the road to meme status when it began in November of 2003 when rapper Cameron was a guest on The O'Reilly Factor with Bill O'Reilly. Cameron and his producer Damon Dash debated O'Reilly if rap music had a negative effect on young children, but whenever Dash would attempt to explain his view, he would be interrupted much like O'Reilly always does, which prompted Cameron to taunt Bill by saying, you mad. You mad. On August 13th, 2004, an Urban Dictionary user with the handle Johnny2Guns submitted an entry for You Mad and credited Cameron's O'Reilly Factor appearance. From there, it spread to multiple websites like Facebook, YTMND.com, and many others with the superimposed caption on different reaction images. Oh, Matt's got too much enthusiasm in this video. It's too much. You mad, bro? Number four is Success Kid. Dah, everybody loves this kid. The Success Kid is a photo of a baby boy making a raised fist pose to indicate the feeling of celebration over a situation that worked out. The photo was taken on August 26, 2007 at a beach in Jacksonville, Florida by American photographer Lainey Griner. Griner took the photo of her 11-month-old son, Sammy, and posted it on her Flickr page and Getty Images. But then in January of 2008, the photo started to appear in profile pictures and page backgrounds on MySpace, if you remember what that is, and began spreading around the internet with the caption, I hate sandcastles. That's when it was altered into a meme called Success Kid in early of 2011 and was posted to Reddit where it gained massive traction. The photo was even used in billboard ads by Virgin Media in February of 2012 and was also used in a post by the White House. But the most amazing thing is that in April of 2015, Sammy's meme
Justin fame even helped his dad Justin crowdfund $88,000 for a kidney transplant operation. Now that is success. Number five is peanut butter jelly time. It's peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly, jelly time, time! Peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly I'm sorry, I'll just stop. Peanut butter jelly time is a flash animation of a dancing banana set to a song by the same title by the Buckwheat Boys. The looping flash animation was created by Ryan Gansania at Rada and Kevin Flynn in 2002, who uploaded it to the forums of offtopic.com. It was then taken from those forums and uploaded to the popular flash animation and game site newgrounds.com on March 1st, 2002 where it began its rapid rise to fame. On November 13th, 2002, the animation appeared in an episode of NBC's Ed, and in 2003, it went viral across many well-known internet humor sites like Ebom's World and Something Awful. Peanut Butter Jelly Time continued to spawn different parodies over the next couple of years until it finally appeared in an episode of Family Guy. On November 20th, 2005, the family dog, Brian, performed his own version of peanut butter jelly time in a banana costume while holding maracas, igniting the meme once again. Seriously, it's a classic episode. I highly recommend you look it up. Number six is Troll Face. Used as a universal symbol for instigating frustration or conflict online, the Troll Face was drawn in Microsoft Paint by Carlos Ramirez of Oakland, California for a humorous and crudely drawn comic called a rage comic that he was making about the anonymous users that troll on 4chan. The comic was first posted on Ramirez's DeviantArt account on September 19th, 2008, and over the next few months, the troll face image began circulating around 4chan. The face was adopted on the image board as sort of an emoticon for internet trolls and spread across even larger sites. Ramirez has since obtained a copyright on the image, and in July of 2011, he used it to send a cease and desist letter to Reddit, which hosted images of the troll face face uploaded by different users. But it got even weirder because on March 3rd, 2015, a game called Meme Run was removed from Nintendo's online Wii U store after Ramirez had threatened a lawsuit for use of the face. Well, it's in this video, but it's protected by fair use. Number seven is Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins is the name of a player's character from the wildly popular game World of Warcraft that was featured in a comedic gameplay video where he inadvertently inadvertently causes the death of his entire raiding squad. The video, uploaded to Warcraft Movies on May 11th, 2005, shows a meeting between 13 clan members at the entrance to an extremely difficult dungeon. The leader explains the complicated battle plan only to have Leroy return from being away from his computer and charge in early, yelling his own name and causing the catastrophic failure. Leroy was played by Ben Schultz of Denver, Colorado, who acted in the video with his college buddies including Ben Vincent who filmed the gameplay. The video became an online sensation once it was uploaded to YouTube in August of 2006 and as of March 2017 has nearly 46 million views. Believe it or not it went so far that the World of Warcraft developer Blizzard Entertainment even created multiple game assets to celebrate the character. Number 8 is Doge. Doge, a purposeful misspelling and mispronunciation pronunciation of the word dog is a funny image usually of a Shiba Inu breed of dog that contains words in broken English in a colorful Comic Sans font. The word doge was taken from a June 24th, 2005 Homestar Runner puppet show skit in which a character spells dog as D-O-G-E. The popular image of this dog that started this meme was taken actually by a kindergarten teacher in Japan. Her name was Atsuko Sato, who uploaded uploaded shots of her dog Kabuso to her blog on February 23rd, 2010. And shortly after, on October 28th, 2010, one of the photos of the dog was uploaded to Reddit with the word Doge included in the title, giving the meme its first exposure. From there, it reached 4chan in December of 2012, and y'all already know what happens then. Doge became so popular, it even got its own Bitcoin-like currency called Dogecoin. Here's another hidden YouTube Easter egg. Type Doge meme into the YouTube 
search bar and see what happens. Number nine is Pepe the Frog. The weird human-like frog named Pepe was introduced in 2005 as a character in an American comic series called Boys Club. Created by Matt Fury, Boys Club was originally hosted on Fury's MySpace page where Pepe and his antics were used as an inside joke between many readers. The image of Pepe's face along with the speech bubble containing the phrase was scanned and uploaded to 4chan in early 2008 and quickly gained popularity on the website. Originally a line drawing in the comic, Pepe's image was colorized and different variations of his face were created to help customize its use for different emotions like sadness and anger. From there, the different Pepe images were spread across many high traffic websites like Tumblr, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram. And in October of 2014, 4chan users actually began creating a meme economy of rare Pepe images that they would try to actually trade and sell. Always on the search for that rare Pepe. And number 10 are LOL cats. LOL cats, images of cats with large humorous captions included, were first created on 4chan before inspiring an entire website dedicated to them called I Can Has Cheeseburger. The LOL cats fad started on 4chan in 2005 when an image of a cat waiting for catter day was posted in response to some of the other less desirable weekday themed image threads that were occurring like Furry Friday. Catter day became a tradition on the site with LOL cat images being uploaded every Saturday until I Can Has Cheeseburger was created in 2007 and helped them bring the meme to the mainstream audience. Even Time Magazine covered the explosive popularity of the meme on June 12, 2007, which had over 3 million unique results on Google at any one time. By that time, Cheeseburger was receiving hundreds of uploaded photos every day. Never underestimate the power of cats on the internet, man. They just, they rule everything. Thank you so much for watching this, and if you enjoyed it, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm going to have a brand new video for you tomorrow at 12 p.m. West Coast time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you come by then. Have a great day.